You know, bikers from all over the country came to ride on the Cuyuna Lakes trails at the annual Cuyuna Crusher race this past weekend. For this week's Community Spotlight, our Logan Gay spoke with some of the racers about their expectations for the race. The Cuyuna Crusher race attracts bicyclists of all ages. Some of them are new to racing, others race often, but all of them are great bicyclists. We have a track in our hometown that's kind of what got me into mountain biking. And then uh, I've ridden about three years and this is actually my first year racing. There were several different races going on throughout the two day event. A few of the races not only took a lot of power, but also time. We have some marathon racers out there riding for four hours straight today. So they're seeing how many laps they can do in four hours. The unique trails in the Crosby and Ironton area is what makes this event so successful. Uh, you know, I drove over three hours to be here because I hear it's one of the best on the circuit. So happy to be here. And every racer, no matter the age, had their own technique on how they plan to finish their race. For some, it may have been a special strategy. Just tried passing people at the beginning, too, because it's one of the easiest places to pass. And for others, it may be a champion breakfast. I have a routine. I always eat my cinnamon raisin toast, and then I follow that up with a banana, and then usually uh, i got to get my coffee, got to get my caffeine in me. And then I'll just uh, have some trail mix before the race and probably another banana, and then maybe a goo energy shot to start the race. And this year there was an additional perk that included more than riding the awesome trails. We have the elite top 15 racers get some cash payout, so they'll be the top 15 racers will get, get some cash in their wallets. The next Minnesota mountain bike race is during the Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. In Ironton for this week's Community Spotlight, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.